books, which have surged to more than half of all computing devices shipped to schools now. So, when's the last time you took a photo or a video on your cell phone? Probably today, right? I'm doing it right now. <laughs> and you know those memories will live on forever in the land of digital. But what about all those old pictures and movies collecting dust in your home on all that old uh, media? Consumer reporter Susan Hogan working for you with some ways to preserve those meaningful memories. Family memories are priceless until you convert them to digital, then you'll see just how pricey they can actually be. The technology keeps evolving and it's left a lot of people with home videos they can't even watch. Experts at Consumer Reports have some advice on getting your old media out of the attic and onto your computer. If you want to do it yourself, you will need a VCR. Remember what that is? Sites like eBay and Craigslist may have low priced options for you. You'll also need to pick up something called an analog video video capture device. Look for one that comes with software. It has audio and video inputs on one end for the VCR and a USB on the other end for your computer. It allows you to capture what's on your old tapes and digitally transfer them onto your computer. The biggest investment is probably time. It's an analog process and an hour of video is going to take an hour to transfer. More work than you bargain for, you can also pay a service. Several chains transfer old photographs and videos, including Costco, Walgreens, and Walmart. Plenty more have cropped up online as well. So besides the expense, though, the only other potential drawback is that you're going to be sending irreplaceable memories through a shipping service. So make sure your package is trackable. So Consumer Reports suggests that you actually save your files in a well-labeled place on your computer and backing them up onto an external hard drive and to the cloud just in case. Back to you. So thanks so much. Scientists in Australia say they've been presented with a unique opportunity to get a better sense of what things were like in ancient Egypt. This all involves... a. Uh, uh, something that had been untouched in a museum for more than 150 years. It had been classified as empty, but late last year they opened it up and found bones and other human remains in the 2,500-year-old coffin. Whole dumb mummies were usually left intact, so scientists hope these bones will provide answers about diet, disease, even lifestyle during that period. The cherry blossoms are in bloom in one unusual place. Take a look. This is the lobby of the Willard Hotel in Northwest DC. Live cherry blossom trees in the front lobby and the Willard gets new branches shipped in every spring. They come from a grower in the Jersey area. The hotel likes that they don't have to worry about the cold keeping their blossoms from opening. The National Park Service says the, the cherry blossoms that are outside, the ones over by the tidal basin, basin are going to reach peak bloom sometime between April 8th and April 12th. But there is a great deal of discussion among right. Arborist and Amelia oh, about yeah. no, you're, you're uh, that's a shifting like time. Six <laughs> yesterday, right? On the sixth? April 6th? Right. Yeah, I think we're going to see the peak between April 2nd and the 6th this year. I have more on that in a moment. But I want to show you radar because we are tracking rain out there. Yeah. So this is what you're dealing with as you head out your door, taking the dog out tonight. It's going to be a quick trip outdoors, especially if you're heading out right now in parts of Loudoun and Fairfax County. Notice that rain uh, out around Leesburg, Ashburn. Sterling, Middleburg seeing some rain still along Marshall out towards Reston and even into the district in Arlington. Some showers moving in. So we're going to have on and off rain showers for the evening hours. You can see still more activity on Storm Team 4 radar to deal with overnight tonight on into tomorrow morning. There's the chance for some showers and you see that on your hourly planner at 7 a.m. Otherwise 42 degrees. It's a chilly and damp start. Cloudy skies tomorrow from start to finish. We're mainly dry around the late morning and midday hours, but tomorrow afternoon and evening, very much like today, we'll have more rain showers moving into the area. A high tomorrow in Washington of 60, but north of the district, we're going to be colder around 50. South of Washington tomorrow, we're going to be in the mid 60s. And here's the latest on the cherry blossoms. Temperatures are the biggest variable, so while it's feeling chilly out there for us today and tomorrow, they don't mind that. It's helping the blossoms come out. Average peak late March, early April. Storm Team 4, though, Lauren, saying April 2nd to the 6th of this weekend, Easter weekend. Not great to head down to the Tidal Basin, but not bad weather-wise. Really not that bad. Now, we are tracking a few showers, Amelia, on...